Hello everyone. As you can see, this is MacBook Pro, 13 inch, 2015 one. And recently, this laptop owner he got some issue that is the screen stays black, but he can hear the chime times he can hear, but nothing comes on the screen. Ignore. It looks so dirty. So we're gonna check. There could be a lot of reason. One of them could be SMC failure, or it could be something else, a display connector, a lot of things. But we're gonna try in easiest way. First, we're gonna open up and check what is the physical condition, and then we'll try to decide it. One thing remember: when you see the dark screen with the chime, could be many reason. Okay, it depends on how the physically it looks. Then you can easily identify what sort of problem it might have so we're going to open up and check what we can all the screws that we can see Hello. Right. a lot of dust okay so it looks kind of the cover from here is missing let's see if the fan does spin or not because I have a doubt about this. So the sound comes on, but we don't see any spinning from the fan. Okay, so we're gonna wait for a couple of seconds and check. On the meantime, we can see the battery is completely inflammated, sold in this side, you know. If you look at from the far, you can easily identify, okay. But anyway, that shouldn't be the battery issue. Uh, the black screen shouldn't be the reason for this, okay. And the connector is fine, but if you notice, we can see, you can see clearly the thermal paste already came out, okay. And I can feel quite, the heat sink is quite hot, but still the fan doesn't spin, okay. So this is the first issue. I believe this is one of the major issue. And also it seems the thermal paste already dried out, okay? So what are you gonna do? We're gonna remove this. I got the replacement because I did observe before I make the video. The fan was not spinning. So we'll change it and we'll put the thermal paste in. We'll disconnect the video connector, the battery, and then we'll see if there is any improvement, if there is any sign of, uh, screen okay so i'm gonna press and hold just to turn it off because technically this is on yeah. all right that's fine so first is first i'm gonna disconnect the battery that is the first thing okay the battery disconnected second one is i'm gonna remove this uh, heat sink panel okay all right so battery disconnected now let's take out this panel right so first disconnect it and take out all the screws that you can see so this Lift it, lift it up okay all right so just look at it it's completely dried out like a desert right, so that's what happened as you can see definitely definitely this machine has overheating issues okay because can you see that it's completely dried you know this thermal paste doesn't help at all to suck the temperature from the chip to the heat sink. Okay, there is no way. Okay, so probably that's the reason why it gives the chime and nothing on the display then turns off. It's like kind of there is a there should be a relation. I know somebody could say, hey, it can't be the reason. It could be you know uh, SMC and other stuff. You know, could be flex. Yes. So let's try and see until what happened. Anyway, this fan definitely, definitely not working. Otherwise the connector issue or the fan, definitely one of them. 
but I got the replacement anyway so I will try to put the new one which is that one I bought okay so let's keep it on the side we're gonna give it a clean to the processor okay. So this is my new fan. You wanna put it first. Make sure the connector is connected properly. And don't forget to close the latch. Okay, and then the three screws, which is right here. That's it, this one. Should come here. No. Be careful going about this one because all of them come in different, different sizes. Now, before you close, we must need to apply some thermal paste, which is Arctic Silver 5, that's what I always like. And before you do that, we must need to give it a clean with the brush and stuff. Alright, so apply a little bit of thermal paste in each. So let's close it back. We're gonna close it back. Check the screw holes, should be fine. So it seems it's on the place. Put it back. It's connected properly. Fine. Now we're going to double check the display, display connector if there is any issue or not. If we focus, we can see there is nothing wrong. It's absolutely fine. Okay. It's completely connected. Still, let's open it up and put it back again just to see. Hopefully, there is nothing missing out. Okay. It's been removed. And now we're going to connect it back. it there this kinds of rubber pad goes on each and every screws but I want to give it a clean before I go further Absolutely fine. This one goes back in here. Okay, so now the first job is we must need to check if the fan does spin and then we'll check if it comes on the screen or not. Okay. So let's turn it on. Ignore the dirt. We're going to focus on the screen and then Okay, we must need to connect the battery first. So now I'm going to turn on and check what happened to the uh, the fan that we changed and then uh, the thermal paste we applied. So let's turn it on, the battery, make sure the battery is connected. 
Yeah, that is connected. Let's turn it on. We're going to check both. Yeah, the screen comes on. Let's check if the touch is working. Yeah, trackpad is fine. The fan is still not spinning. I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes just to find out if there is a relation of the temperature. All right, so it seems the fan also spinning in full speed. The heat sink is quite hot. Oh my God, it's super hot. Ooh. Can't believe it that much hot. Could be. Anyway, the fan is spinning. The hot air is coming up. And the screen is absolutely fine. Okay. So now, what I would like to say, as I told you, try a no screen or black screen. It could be many reasons, but it's worth it to try it. So what I done technically here is the first stage is we disconnected the battery, we taken out the, I mean LCD flex, and then we observed the heat sink and the fan. We found the fan was not spinning at the beginning, uh, which is the old one. Okay, so the fan somehow damaged. And this damage fan leads the thermal paste to get into dry kind of powder okay so we observed the heat sink we found the thermal paste completely dried out so we gave it a clean applied it and turns on magically the computer is working as you can see the screen is so feel free before you take it to the technician give it a try in that way observe it first if you see anything suspicious or not in the normal state make sure you see what it is and take the action and sh it should be fine as you can see but still if you do have any question regarding macbook pro 2015 one 13 inch leave it in the comment section i will try my best to reply as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching guys and i need your support make sure you subscribe to my channel for future videos and i hope i'll see you in the next video bye for now